Hello, today's Bible study comes from John chapter 9, verses 13 through 22, and reads as follows. They brought the Pharisees, the man who had been blind. Now the day on which Jesus had made the mud and opened the man's eye was a Sabbath. Therefore the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. He put mud on my eyes, the man replied, and I washed, and now I see. Some of the Pharisees said, This man is not from God, for he does not keep the Sabbath. But others asked, How can a sinner perform such signs? So they were divided. Then they turned again to the blind man. What have you to say about him? It was your eyes he opened. The man replied, He is a prophet. They still did not believe that he had been blind and had received his sight until they sent for the man's parents. And is this your son, they asked, is this the one you say was born blind? Now is it that, how is it that now he can see? We know he is our son, the parents answered, and we know he was born blind. But how he can see now or who opened his eyes, we don't know. Ask him, he is of age, he will speak for himself. His parents said this because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders who already had decided that anyone who acknowledged that Jesus was the Messiah would be put out of the synagogue. That was why his parents said he is of age. Ask him. Well, this is when the Pharisees were trying to see, or I should say investigate, how Jesus had healed this man. So they brought to the Pharisees this man who had been, he been blind, healed. And... They brought him to him mainly for, you know what the Pharisees to do, to pass judgment and try to find fault at what Jesus did. Now, the day on which Jesus had made the mud and opened the man's eyes was a Sabbath day. And they were under the impression that you can't work under the Sabbath day. Hmm, and they were going to stick with that. But God tells you that you can do good on all days. And who controls the Sabbath day? Except the Lord. If you look in Ephesians, it says you were made to do good deeds all the time. So, therefore, the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. He put mud on my eyes, the man replied, and I washed it, now I see. So, what what was really going on is they were upset with Jesus doing this because, uh-oh, he's still proven to be who he is. And his actions are saying and doing who he says he is, but... It is taken away from us and it has proven us wrong. So when they asked him how did he receive his, eye, his sight, they said he put mud on my eyes. The man replied, and I washed, and now I see. The man could have also said, I was obedient and faithful to the Lord. When he told me what to do, I went and did it. And I had faith and believed in who he was. And when I had that faith and was obedient, I was rewarded, and now I see. So. Some of the Pharisees said, this man is not from God, for he does not keep the Sabbath. Uh-oh, the pettiness. And you remember when the Lord gave them an example of their wild animal on a, on a Sabbath day. So they were looking for anything that they could find to speak against Jesus. Anything to add doubt um, to the Lord in regards of this situation. Because they didn't want him to be speaking on anything that benefited him, and they surely wanted to get him on anything they could, especially on the working of the Sabbath day. Remember the Sabbath day, remember the Sabbath day, and keep it holy. So let's, let's understand this. Jesus kept the Sabbath day, although he was in charge of the Sabbath day. It was holy to him, which it was. But when you do God's work, you do God's work all the time. And Jesus was doing his work all the time. But the main thing here was the Pharisees just didn't have anything to shoot at Jesus in regards to this. So when they claimed him that Jesus, the man, is not from God because he does not keep the Sabbath, Jesus could not be from God because he did not line up with the way the Pharisees thought he should be, is what the real problem was here. The Pharisees had their thoughts and ways that the Messiah should be. 
And when they say, you know, when they say, therefore, this man, they were, they were really pretty much degrading who Jesus was. You know, it was like a contempt type of thing. They didn't believe who he was in the first place. But some of them did now. Some of them did because I think they started recognizing just who he was because it says there was a division among them. And Jesus is going to divide man. And here's a prime example. Even the Pharisees were divided because some just said, I need to follow this. I see what he is doing. What he has done is good. He has been doing things that we can't do, and we need to recognize this. Just like he divides us, you can be of the world or not of the world. Jesus is going to divide man until either you follow him or you go away from him. So they took two sides regarding Jesus. Um, and they reject, They some of them rejected Jesus. Um and they thought that him doing anything on the Sabbath day was wrong. Um, and the group that was speaking about him doing good things on the Sabbath day, they must have felt he was right. And there was, there was no one that could understand if they didn't have faith in Jesus, who he was or what he was doing. And you remember when um um wait a second uh when Nicodemus uh was talking about no one can perform these things these signs that Jesus was doing if God was not with them um and that was true Jesus was doing things and they were good things they were things of love. Satan does nothing for love. There's nothing about him that is love. He is about destroying you. So they said to the blind man again, what do you say about him? Because he opened your eyes. He said, he is a prophet. That was his answer. But the Jews did not believe concerning him. Uh oh, then why you ask me? <laughs> that he had blind, he had been blind and received his sight until they called his parents of him who they who had received his sight. So when they asked him about Jesus, Jesus said he was a prophet. And he he was just saying what most of them have said. If you look at John 9 and 16, it says, Therefore, some of the Pharisees said, The man is not from God because he does not keep the Sabbath. Others said, How could a man who is a sinner do such signs? And there was a division among them. So, yeah, Jesus was doing his thing. He is a prophet. And Jesus did not say to this man that he had healed and washed in the proof of the in the pool of Siloam, but it was implied. Jesus didn't tell him he was a, a prophet. It was implied. And remember the other thing, Jesus wasn't even there when the man gained his sight. Jesus was gone. The man had faith and he was obedient and the word of God healed him. And his faith healed him. That's all he needed to have faith. Jesus was long gone. And the man who was healed proclaimed him as a prophet. He proclaimed him as a prophet. But the Jews didn't believe concerning him that he had been blind. So what did they do? They called for his parents because they need some proof. Now... When they asked him, saying, is this your son who you say was born blind? How then does he see now? They're asking him a question. Hey, man, was your son born blind? Well, how is it that he can see right now? Because he couldn't see if he was blind. How is he seeing now? His parents answered, answered them and said, we know that this is our son. They claim their child. They know who he is and that he was born blind. He was born to us. We know what was wrong with them, but by what means he now sees, they didn't know because it wasn't a doctor they took him to. It wasn't somebody that they knew that restored his sight or who opened his eyes. We do not know. They didn't know any of this. They were not there. 
And they were a little nervous, but they say he is of age. Ask him. And they might have said that because they were scared, but he is of age. He was of age. So they said, ask this grown man what happened to him. And he can speak for himself. And his parents said these things because, and it says right here, they feared, they feared the Jews. The Jews weren't being nice, for the Jews had agreed already that if anyone confessed that he was Christ, he would be put out of the synagogue. Therefore, his parents said, he is of age, ask him. So, they were looking for a way to disprove Jesus. But they got a witness from the blind man. They got a witness from his parents saying, we don't know. And he was born blind. And y'all can't tell me anything. And Jesus wasn't even there when the healing was seen on the man. He was gone. He just told the man what to do, and the man had faith, and faith healed him. Amen.